Hi, my name is Stephen Davids and in this video I shall discuss how to do data validations in Google Forms using special expressions. I will first discuss sources where you can get more information on the subject. Then I will move to elements not covered in this video. Then we will start with a simple example and work our way up to more complex examples. And we will finish with more practical examples. Various sources that are available are on the internet. You can just type regex, meaning regular expressions. You can type in data validation. Or you can visit Google support on the subject. The difference here is that we pay attention. The unique difference of this video is that we not only give the formula, but that we explain it in such a way that you will be able to interpret and understand more complex formulas so that you will be able further to adapt those more complex formulas to your unique situation. But let us start. Google's spreadsheet forms as short answer questions and paragraph questions. These type of questions makes it able to do a data validation and prescribe what the person doing the input must type in. You get number validations greater than equal than all these equal to now these things I will not cover neither will I cover something like the text what it not, must contain or not contain email addresses etc the question is what do you do if and when you want a text to be limited to a certain number of characters for example eight? this is not provided for in Google normal validation expressions neither are things such as a password phone mobile currency as well as perhaps an identity number or a student and a learner number these things are not covered and this must be provided for in the regular expression and this is these expressions which are not normally covered by Google Forms validation functions we will cover in this video. The first expression is a very simple one namely give the exact five numerals and this consists of the following the caret indicates there that this opens the expression the dollar signs close the expression then between square brackets is the 0 to 9 and this 0 to 9 indicates that the first character position must only be numer numerals between 0 to 9 if you wanted it to be perhaps 1 to 9 without the 0 you could have put 1 to 9 if you wanted it to, to be 5 to 9, you replace that 0 with 5 to 9. If you wanted it 0 to 7 only, then it is 0 to 7. Delete the 9. And it is not only, and between the brackets then comes 5. And this 5 indicates this previous function of 0 to 9 repeated 5 times for 5 character spaces. If we now go to the form itself and if we try to type in letters we see a smash pattern even if it is 5 letters. If you type out you type capital letters it will not work either even if it is 5. You must you can't even type in a combination. Only thing is you can type in five numbers and there you see it disappeared. 
and it is accepted. If you want to have small letters, the only thing you do is then you replace within the brackets the command small letter A hyphen small letter Z. We then get the normal uh, structure is with a caret open the expression. This must keep be the form first space, namely small letters A to Z, and there must be and repeat the command for five spaces, and then the dollar sign indicates close the expression. If you simply want it excluded A, maybe B to Z, you could have type B to Z. If you wanted it A to E, you could have done A to E, and it would only taken. The letters A to E small a. If you now go to the form input, you will see that it only accepts five small letters. There it is. You cannot put, for example, a number there, neither can you put capital letter there, even though it is five. You must put there only small letters and then the exact number that you indicated 5. If you want the form only to accept capital letters, then it is must be capital letters. The A must be capital, the Z must be capital. Everything else, the form structure remains the same. In between the bra uh, brackets, However, if you wanted maybe to have five capital letters, six or nine, you put in nine. In this case, you expect and you ask for five. But what now if you do want numerals, small letters and capital letters? The structure remains the same for our purposes. We only have spa five spaces. You, as I said, you can put it 10 or whatever. In this case, you change the command to having small letters because you want small letters as well as capital letters, all the capital letters. You could have changed maybe B to Z, depends on you. And then please give all the numbers. 0 to 9, which you could have changed in accordance to your need and desire. If we now go to the form and input it, you will see that we can input small letters, capital letters, as well as numbers, but in total it must work out five character spaces. What now if you want to allow spaces? In that case, because you want your data to be appear neater. In that case, you have your basic structure, open carrot, brackets for the first base, repeat it five times, how many, close it with a dollar sign, and then you just add to the basic structure small letters, capital letters, and numbers, Slash S. That slash S indicates it will be small letters. If you want to allow hyphens, you keep the basic structure and formula and then slash allow hyphens. If you want to allow both hyphens and spaces, you have still have your basic structure. In this case, I change the number of spaces that it must be to 10 times, exactly 10 times, then you include slash hyphen allow hyphen slash s allow space. If you now go to the form where you input, you can see that you can input any small letter, capital letter, space, letter, no hyphen but it must come down to 10 and it will come down to 10 character spaces 
But what now if you want the person filling in the form to input a certain number of characters, maybe between 5 to 10. In this case, you can input any number between 5 and 10. Then you focus on this brackets section. And in this brackets section, the square brackets is the same. The formula there. Because uh, in the square brackets, we have this small letters, capital letters, numerals, uh, allow hyphen, allow space. But here you put in the brackets, you put in 5, comma 10. Or whatever the case may be. The first number here indicates the minimum number the person can put in. 10. The second number indicates the maximum number the person can put in. If you prefer, in this case, it is 5 minimum, 10 maximum. You can change whatever you want to. You can say, okay, input 7 or 8 or 9 minimum and to a maximum of 20. But the basic structure remains the same. You now go to the form with the person input. You will see that he or she can input any number between 5 to 10. There are the changes, the color on the screen changes to be accepted. The value are, are accepted that you put in. And as soon as you exceed the 10 character spaces, it appears red. It does not match the pattern. Let us now look at a few practical examples. The South African postal code is very easy. Use your normal expression. The opening carrot and closing dollar sign. And it consists of numerals. Numerals 1, 0, 9. And then repeat it for 4 consecutive digits or character spaces. The next example is a South African cell phone or landline number consisting of the national code with a local area code separated by a hyphen and then also the uh, local number. This basically the basic codes are the open bracket close open carrot sorry open carrot close dollar sign and you say first digit is numerals use this for th this consecutive is three digits and then separate it with a uh, hyphen add to that then numerals three digit for three digits add with a hyphen and then add to that and then close it with all those digits of numerals. The second number is a South African, what we do is a South African ID number, which consists of uh, six numbers at the start and then five individual numbers. Open carrot and close the dollar sign. This is then the six, first six numerals. Only allow first six numerals and then follow a space. The reason why I prefer a space here and not a hyphen is because on this African ID is usually hyphens and I do not want to confuse the person doing the input. Following the second set of data is also numerals for four digits followed by a hyphen and add to that two rows of digits followed by a space and then also one row of digits. The next thing is to enter a currency symbol, excuse me, to enter a currency, namely an amount of around cent without the currency symbol, which want to make it easier for people, but they must insert the comma, separate thousands with a comma, and separate the cents with a period. So you tell them 
and this is a command you can have three digits optional if you want to comma flower comma and then three digits this is uh, instead of putting the numerals there you can put digits three digits for thousands and then add to it and allow period and in this case the period must come there and also two digits then you get this case sensitive password a password where you want maybe few sections few letters to be capital or small capital you can change it as you want to in this case it was open car carrot close um, dollar sign the first uh, three letters will be capital letters is case sensitive you can change into five six any amount of letters you want second set add with the second set of letters maybe small letters this must be three you can put four five or anything and then you then you can add last set of data must be numerals and it must be five numerals one four or whatever the case may be thank you very much for watching this video we appreciate constructive comments please like this video